Josh Smith here, Guitar World Magazine. Over the last few months, we've dove into a few tools that I use to strengthen my narrative ability within solos and improvisation. The first one was repetition. Second one was painting yourself in the corner, putting handcuffs on, putting yourself in a box, and limiting what you can play. The third one that we're going to start talking about this month is call and response. And by that, I mean listening intently to what you're playing as it's happening and then responding to it on the fly. I think too often we don't really pay attention to what we're playing and we get into this autopilot mode where you just play where your hands go. And when you really intently listen to what it is that you're playing, the next thing will be informed by that and again, will create a story that really makes sense. So let's get started. I'm going to play a phrase. I don't know what it is. We'll stay in our preferred key of A. Uh, so let's say I play something like this. Okay. Pay attention to what your brain tells you when you hear that. I hear How would you answer that? Well, immediately my brain is screaming at me to play. So I play Man, think of like what George Benson does when he's scatting and playing. Think of, of yourself as answering or trading with yourself. You play that lick, and then it's almost like you're singing the answer to it, but you're still just playing it. This tool is one of the most useful that I've found for creating narrative souls. I would sit on the edge of the bed and do this with myself. I'd play a lick, and then I'd sing one back to me. And then the next time, I wouldn't sing it. I'd just play it back to me as if I was almost two different musicians or two different guitar players. It's so useful. All right, so let's, let's take four phrases and just think of what the answers are for them. So here's the first one, straight out of the blue. So think of that. Bum, 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 da, da, bum, 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 ba, da, da, here. Again, that's a complete phrase. So complete, you're answering that phrase. So again, that's the way to start listening to this. Let's do another one. Uh, something completely random. Again, that's an interesting lick. Maybe I'll jump up. That's what I hear as an answer to that lick. When you really think of it this way, again, the solo just starts building itself. Let's do one more. Again, I just answered the same lick by moving up and playing it dynamically different and in another spot. But doing these things just really make your solo pop and feel like a conversation. And again, conversation and conversational feel is key to a solo that everyone can relate to.